Hey everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com, still sporting the Movember mustache. We're getting close to the end. I think I got another five days or so to keep this bushy thing growing away here. It's kind of getting annoying. Food's getting stuck in it. But anyways, the purpose of this video, you'll notice I've got all kinds of uh, compression gear on here. This isn't just your normal compression gear, although it is, you know, it is compression gear. It's definitely tight fits snugly but this is copperware and it's a product of tristar so i did want to thank tristar for approaching me and offering to collaborate in this video here and they did supply these products to me and uh, i've been wearing them they said well, you know what what would you like they they showed me their lineup this i'll go over what they actually carry in terms of products but um they said you know what would you like and for me uh, i do have some knee issues every once in a while I'll have some elbow issues if I overdo it a little bit and pull-ups and curls and things. I'll get a little soreness, not so much in the joint, but in here, in the tendons. And I also get, um, from the martial arts stuff that I do, that's compounded by weight training, uh, I'll get a little right in my wrist here. If, I don't, if I'm doing a lot of punching and stuff and grappling and holding on to, I'll get right in the back of the wrist. So I thought, hey, for me, knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, and the wrist, uh, the wrists, I, I don't know if you call them sleeves, but they're like gloves, fingerless, fingerless gloves. So for me, that was pretty much the products that I went with. They also, um, I also said, well, hey, you know, upper body. So I'm wearing the upper body. Um, basically, it's a compression shirt. And I haven't actually tried these, this out yet. I will soon. I've been wearing everything else periodically. And uh, I haven't tried the shorts but you can see that the really nice product, you know, nice compression gear overall. We'll get into some of the science or whatever you want to call it, their technology behind their copper product, copperware product. But uh, this is obviously if you have some hip issues, you know, just compression wear for your glutes, upper, you know, upper legs and stuff. This is going to help you with any issues in those areas as well, just keeping everything tight. All right, so uh, you can go to uh, the, their website is Cooper Wear, so C O P P E R Wear, W E A R dot com. Check them out. There's all kinds of information there. You can you can see some uh, videos from happy customers, things like that. Some information on their technology. Obviously, you can take a look at the product line and all of that stuff. So let's just get into some of the technology really quickly. 88% um, copper embedded nylon um, with 12% spandex, so high concentration of copper. So that's, uh, in the industry, they claim that they have the most or at least the, the highest level of copper compared to a lot of other products out there. Lightweight, 36 gauge fabric, so it's fairly fine. It's not coarse, right, so it's comfortable. Um, again, high performance compression sportswear. So one of the aspects of it is that it's compression wear. Everybody knows compression wear helps, keeps everything tight. Compressing a joint helps with healing just on its own. Forget about the, the copper portion of it because, you know, what does the copper do? Not entirely sure. Some people say it definitely helps with healing. That's why people wear the copper bands, right? Uh, copper, if you ingest it, can help with healing. So copper does have some healing effects. Um, Fast wicking power. So what I have noticed is probably because of the metal or the copper that's in it, uh, I noticed that it almost has, almost has a cooling effect when you put it on, especially if you expose it to, you know, to the outer air, right? If you're wearing it underneath something, maybe not as much, but especially if you're, if you're sweating or perspiring or any of that, or even just sitting around, I can feel like it's cooling the area down. So I'm sure that helps a lot too with healing, right? Keeping an area you know, cool, not letting it get too hot, so obviously, if you have problems with swelling or water retention, any of that, compressing the area is going to help for sure with that. All right. Now, also, the because it's fast wicking and, and it's allowing all the moisture to wick away from it, it also helps with odor control. So you're not going to have smelly, stinky compression wear. Now, I personally didn't really wear this product too much in the gym. I've been using it outside of the gym. So I've been using it after the fact. So if I go and do a heavy leg day or if I was doing martial arts, for instance, and I beat up my leg doing a bunch of kicking, that's where I'll feel it in my knees when I've done some squats or something, been beating a uh, bag in, in martial arts, running around or whatever, doing some warm-up stuff in martial arts. We tend to do a lot of sort of calisthenic-y stuff and it beats up my knees. 
And that's when I'll wear this after for like literally right afterwards when I get home, after I've had a shower, I'll even sleep with it overnight. And I'm finding like, I'm not one of these people who's like, oh, you know, you take this pill, it's going to make you uh, stronger. I'm not one of these people that falls for these gimmicky things. Most of the time when someone says something's going to work and I try it, for me, it doesn't work, right? It just, I, it's not that I don't believe it's going to work. I just, I'm open-minded and if it's working, it's working. If it's not, it's not. A lot of things, I don't even notice a difference. Like for me, creatine, I take it because I know there's science behind it. I know why it's supposed to work. I, I know the science says it works. But for me, I don't notice much of a difference. Maybe the difference is so small that I don't notice it. But I did notice definitely, uh, I have been noticing an improvement, especially because this is the my problem knee. And you know, if, like the right after training, definitely feel it sore. I put these babies on and literally by the evening, I'm feeling a lot better. The soreness is pretty much gone. And if I continue wearing, I'm ready to go literally the next day I can train again. So that's pretty good because sometimes it'll take two or three days for my knee to bounce back after I beat the crap out of it doing something or other, right? So <clears throat> now I did want to just talk a little bit about something that I read on their website. So I'm just going to read this portion. Lab testing shows original uh, copper wear has over 30% more copper than leading competitors products. It is, it's the only copper embedded nylon compression wear significantly engineered with 88% copper nylon performance fabric that allows for deeper copper penetration and starts working the moment you put it on. Other so-called copper garments chemically treat their fabrics with small amounts of copper that wash out over time. Copper wears 88% copper content is embedded right into the fabric. So it's basically embedded, it's strands in the fabric. So there would be like, for instance, if there was 100 strands, 88 of them would be copper, 12 would be spandex, right? So probably not that many, but it's 88% versus 12% of the spandex. So there's a lot of copper in there and you can almost kind of see it if you stretch it out a little bit you can almost see that it's got an orangey look to it even though it's black but if you stretch it out you can see it's a little shiny you can almost see it and you can see that it sort of almost goes an orangey color which is the color of copper. So I'll just kind of show you some of the stuff up close here. These are the the gloves right pretty nice. These are the elbow sleeves Okay, All right. Obviously, I'm wearing the shirt. The shirt. It's this one. Now, everything I'm wearing is a large, just so you can get a reference. They're all larges. Um, for me, you know, I'm pretty happy with the sizes. I, I maybe would go with try an extra large in the compression shirt, but it does feel good. It almost felt a little tight initially, but now that I'm used to wearing it, it's good. It definitely has the right amount of length. It's not too short or anything. It's fine in the shoulders and arms. It just felt a little tight initially. Again, I haven't tried the shorts, but they look about right. Everything for me is, is a large. What I did find, I will say this, I have quite a taper in my legs, so I've got very small knees, and obviously my legs from training have gotten larger up top. So they, even though they've got this little rubber grippy band right here, there's like a rubber grippy band to help hold them up, that's about all you can do, I mean, without unless you're wearing some sort of, I don't know, old man suspender jobs on here. You're not going to be able to keep these up all the time. And they do slide down over time, uh, especially if you're moving around a lot. But, you know, if I'm sleeping or whatever, or I'm sitting around, they, they stay pretty good. If I'm training or something, wearing shorts, they're pretty easy to pull up every once in a while if I need to. Um, that's just the nature of of the taper, right? If you have a taper, things are gonna always wanna go to, down towards the bottom of the taper, it's just natural. Um, <clears throat> elbow sleeves aren't so bad, but every once in a while I gotta tuck them up a little bit, but they're pretty easy to do that with. All right, let's just, um, <clears throat> here's the boxes. I don't really know if I need to show you the boxes too much. I'll just show you a couple just so you can see what they look like. But they're, the packaging is nice, okay? You know, everything, everything's nice. And the price for them is pretty good. The gloves obviously come as a pair. Uh, knee sleeves would be individual, but the gloves do come in a pair. You don't have to buy the left and right. Everything else you would buy um, individual ones. I believe sometimes they'll have promotions for you buy one, you get one free, that kind of thing. Obviously, you know, most people would need two knee sleeves, two elbow sleeves, right? That kind of thing when you buy those types of items. So let's just go over some of the other products real quick here. So I'm gonna start right here. 
definitely you've seen the elbow sleeve. There is a wrist sleeve, so one that just fits the wrist. Uh, there is, again, the knee sleeve you've seen. There's a copper knee-high sock, so if you have problems in your foot and calf area, that would be good. There's the mid-calf sock, so that would be more like your foot and ankle if you had problems with that. There's also an ankle sleeve that covers from here, kind of goes, misses the foot, the bottom of the heel. It would be for your ankle area. Uh, there is a calf sleeve, so if you have problems with your calves, just notice my legs are getting a little hairy here. You might be seeing that in the sun. Time to trim them, I guess. And uh, open finger gloves, which is what I'm wearing right here. I kind of like that. That's going to hit the back of my wrist, which is, uh, for me, is, is a trouble area, like I was saying. There's also a full finger glove that comes up probably a little higher, but it covers your full fingers. Uh, there's the women's shorts and the men's shorts, right? So these guys... You can get them in women's and men's. There's also the women's um, basically uh, sleeveless shirt. There's the men's short sleeveless shirt. And there's also a men's long sleeve shirt. I don't know if there's a woman's long sleeve shirt, but there's uh, maybe there is. Check their website out for that. All right, that's pretty much it. You know, <clears throat> like I said, I'm not one of these people that goes, oh, you know, hey, you got to buy this thing. This is the latest, greatest thing. Try it out. It's going to be awesome. You know, I think really... Everybody might get a little different reaction from it. I'm not one of these people that just, just immediately believes something's going to work, but it is helping me enough that I feel I'm going to put them on, that I do put them on. I make the effort to put them on because I feel they're working. I wouldn't do that if I didn't think it was doing something. So I have been sleeping in them some nights. Uh, like I said, I did, I did a lot of martial arts last week, and I really beat my knees up, especially my right one. And Wearing these, I believe, did help quite a bit in my recovery time. So, you know, I don't know if it's the compression side of things helping, if it's the fact that it keeps the area cool, or if that copper technology, whatever you want to believe about copper, you know, if that helps with healing. But the copper may, you know, maybe the combination of the three, all three things helping to just get that knee feeling better quicker, right? And really, at the end of the day, if you can get everything feeling better a little quicker, after you beat the crap out of it, and then so be it. That's a good thing. All right, so copperware. I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a cool product. You know, compression sleeves are, are a great product in terms of just compression alone. The fact that there's copper in it just sort of helps out with everything. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, take care.